Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you this lovely diagonal layered card. Um, it's quite easy to make and it doesn't require many um, products really. Just some DSP, um, an embossing folder, which obviously you will need your big shot or some form of embossing machine. Um, and then just some little um, metallic enamel shapes and then just a little bit of stamping and fussy cutting um, and I actually think this is quite a nice card and just a little bit different so I'm going to show you how I made it so it is a thick whisper white base which as with all my cards is cut uh, scored in half and cut in half standard UK A4 size card stock um, and I've actually used the layering squares for this one so I've already pre-cut them just to save time so I have three in Whisper White and three in the Be Merry DSP, which is the one of these. This is the Be Merry as well. Um, and if you notice, I have a DSP with a white layer, a white layer with DSP, and then DSP with white. So it's these two that I need to emboss. So I'm going to put those to one side for the moment. And I'm using the lovely Softly Falling um, textured impressions embossing folder which I love and I'm going to grab my big shot because I've got a feeling I need to change my plate oh no no we're all good it's all ready so it is just the normal big shot platform that you need and the bottom sandwich I know that's completely off camera but you'll see it in a moment and again as with all my dry embossing I always spritz my card before I start it just helps to stop the card from cracking um, and it just makes it a little bit softer when it goes through the embossing folder and I just simply spray either side with just a mist of water and I want this thicker part of the pattern so I'm simply going to put both of them in at the bottom and if you feel you'll have the rough side and the smooth side and they have to be face up on the rough side and then we always put our embossing folders folded edge in first sandwich on the top and it doesn't matter if these squares of white DS, uh, white cardstock aren't straight because it doesn't affect the pattern so let's take this out and this out of the way and so there are my two beautifully embossed um, squares and so really now I just need to put my card together so like I said so we have a DSP and an embossed piece of Whisper White so I'm going to snail that onto there and I do apologise that I keep hitting the tripod for some reason it keeps moving okay so that one's on there I then want this one on here so DSP onto Whisper White for the middle one and like I said I used the layering squares for all of these but I will be cutting this one down slightly and then this little one goes on top of the DSP so there are my three layers but this one for me has too big a border so I'm just going to grab my scissors and trim this down a little bit. Now you can do this on your trimmer if you wish. I'm quite happy to do this by hand. But you can do it on your trimmer if you wish. But I just simply cut it down. So bring in my card base and the first thing I want to do is stamp my little sentiment here across the bottom so I've got my Merry Mistletoe and I'm using this lovely long sentiment here I'm going to grab my D block and my garden green and just making sure I've got it the right way up and no ink on my fingers I'm just going to line the bottom of my stamp up with the bottom of my card 
list, which I'm happy with there. And I'm just going to put that away. And I'm actually going to get the Christmas tree stamp out while I'm there. Because I'll need that in a moment. So, largest square then. Again, snail on the back. And this one goes at an angle. And the only way that I can advise you to do it is to just make sure that this bit's straight. So use your grid paper. Line the bottom of your card up on a piece of grid paper and then you can line your corners up with the line underneath and I think that's okay. So I'm happy with that one. The next one is the DSP on white and this goes on normal, a normal square. So again, just sticking that on. And again, I measured this by the corners here. And then the final one, which is the smallest one, goes on at an angle again. And again, I just place it on and just really eyeball that these lines are all in place and stick it down. And yeah, just these corners are in line with these and likewise. So that's that. And that's the basic card done, it's just your decoration, which as I said, so I've got the small tree, I've got my garden green back again, and I'm just going to stamp three trees. Now that's okay because I'm going to be cutting them out so you won't see that part. So stamped my three trees, cover that up. And then I just grab my paper snips and I first of all just separate them. And then all I do, because this is a very simple shape, is just cut up one side. I mean this literally took me maybe one minute. And I just cut across, up by the branch, sorry, the, the trunk, across the bottom, up and across. And there's one done. Second one exactly the same. And so this just goes to show that fussy cutting doesn't need to be um, that. It doesn't need to be fussy. It doesn't need to take hours and hours. Like I said, this, this just takes a couple of, well, not even a couple of minutes, I don't think. There's my second one. And if you're not like me with OCD and tidying up your card, <laughs> you'll probably do it even quicker. Just trim these. I did actually, you, you'll laugh now, I did actually start when I did this design and I did do the reindeer, the main big reindeer. And the more I tried to fussy cut it, the more it looked a mess. So in the end I gave up and thought, no, I'm not doing that. Right, so dimensionals, trees, card. So flip them over and I simply stuck a large, whoops, dimensional at the bottom. And then a small one at the top. And the reason I added the small one was for when I start and add the metallic enamel shapes because you actually press them down to get them to stick and it was bending the tree. And so I thought well, it needs a little something extra. So backing off all of your trees. So stick that one there. Backing off this one to go there, and then my final one just sits a little bit lower down, just there. And last but not least, I need some stars. And I've gone for gold stars just because I think they look nicer. Bring that other one back in. And I just simply uh, lined up the top of my star with the top of where I've cut. And then I actually used my piercing tool just to hold the top of the card. Just as I press that 
star down because obviously if I press too much like that it will stick to the card so if I just use my piercing tool underneath just to press it doesn't stick it to the card and there is your pretty and beautifully effective Christmas cards that are just a little bit different but I think they're really nice I really like them hope you've enjoyed it everything that I have used is on the link below and they are all from the um, annual and or seasonal catalogue um, so hop along have a look there's a lot of stuff that's on reduced at the moment as well so that's worth having a look at um, I hope you all have a great day and I hope to see you again soon bye